Hello the Metatron. I've just watched your video on the Lantern Shield and there's something I think you might have missed. On most of those Lantern Shields, if you look where the gauntlet attaches to the shield, you'll notice the steel forms kind of a ridge, uh, like a rolled edge, but quite wide. Uh, you sometimes see this on pieces that telescope and rotate. Um, the common armourer's term that I'm familiar with is a turner. You see them in later suits of armour at the top of the arm to allow the pauldron to be in one plane and let the arm rotate in side of it. Uh, that detail is on it seems like most of them that have the mail on the inside of the glove. That would, that would mean that the gauntlet should be able to rotate independently of the shield, meaning when you want to keep the shield orientated, you'll hold on to the handle, but if someone thrusts at you with say a rapier or another thrust centric sword, you can let go and let go of the shield hopefully let go of the handle and grab the blade. I think that might be you know, the reason why there's mail on the inside of the glove. So um, yeah, the fact that the there's a turner or a setup to allow the gauntlet to rotate independently of the shield combined with the fact that there's mail on the inside of the glove makes me think that perhaps it really was intended so that you could grab an opponent's blade. As for the little holes in it, that is an interesting hypothesis that they are to lighten up the shield. Uh, if they're not too thick, they would hopefully not be penetrated, similar to the uh, visor slits and breathers. I had always thought that they were there to help catch the um, uh, catch an opponent's weapon uh, if there's any thrusts directed towards the shield that they can't see because they're blinded that it might grab in the shield uh, though I guess you would have to compare it with other weapons of the time and see if they would fit through and blah 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 but that is, that is an interesting hypothesis and uh, I, don't know. I had always assumed that there was more material behind them, but no, oh well, it, it's an interesting hypothesis. Okay, so I've just gone back and I've double checked your video. Seems like every single example of a sh lantern shield you've shown seems to have a turner, as we call them nowadays, uh, between the gauntlet and the shield, except for one. I kind of can't tell. There could be one there. It's a bit. Mm, it's a little hard to tell on one of them. But uh, you all will. <laughs> but you also notice that in some pictures, the shield is vertical, and the hand is horizontal to the handle. So. So you can clearly see in some of the photos in your video that the gauntlet can turn to go like that in relation to the handle on the shield. So yeah, I think, so let's just keep my hand, well, keep my elbow straight and, uh, so yeah, maybe you don't know how much wiggle room would be in there, but uh, if you can go like that, you might be able to, uh, might be able to grab a sword or something with that. Be an interesting experiment for me to whip one up. Just a sim very simple one. Just put a gauntlet, a shield, and a turner in there. Not bother with all of the spikes and stuff. Which I should probably maybe explain what a turner is if you don't fully understand. Right, so say at the top of the uh, rear brace you would have the inner piece of steel. Uh, sometimes it's 
the goes and it rolls. I've heard a lot of times it'll just like roll like that, and the other piece of steel will that goes on the outside will come down and roll in, and you know they'll come in, go around, and that allows it to ro that allows the bottom or the top to rotate independently of each other. Uh, I'm not now. I've tried making them, they are a pain. <laughs> oh, well, I think they're a pain to make. Uh, some people say, have different ideas on how to make them. Uh, opinions vary on forums and stuff on how they should be constructed. Some people think that the inner one is a roll, not just a turn. And But I think you get the general idea of what we're talking about, so, yeah. Alright, right it. Uh, enjoy your videos, and I hope to see many more. Cheers.